Hey guys, I'm finally back with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make this clean 3D cardboard cutout transition in After Effects without any plugins. It's based on the Season 4 Better Call Saul poster. Alright, let's get into it. To start, set up your clips in the right order so the scene you want to use is on top. Make sure that the clip is centered in the comp. You can fix it later but it's easier to do it now. Go to the exact frame you want to use for the cutout, split the layer, then right click, go to time and select freeze frame. This freezes the layer on that frame. Stretch that layer out so it lasts as long as you need for the transition. Once that's done, pre-compose the layer. Select the mask tool and draw a mask around the object you want to cut out. The mask doesn't need to be perfect but it should have enough detail for the edge. Now you need to find a cardboard texture. You can easily find one online, just get something similar to the one I'm using now. This one works well because it's black and white with good contrast so the creases show more clearly. If yours isn't black and white, you can just add the tint effect. Align it so it matches the timing of your mask layer and rotate it so the lines are horizontal. Set the blending mode to overlay, then position and scale the layer until the texture lines up the way you want. Lower the opacity to make it look more realistic. Once that looks good, pre-compose both layers. Copy the mask from the original layer and paste it onto the pre-comp so the texture stays inside the outline. To make the cardboard outline, copy both layers from the pre-comp back into the main comp and remove the effects from the texture. Select the cardboard texture, go to track mat and choose the layer with the mask. Now you should have the cardboard with the outline of your object. Right click the mask layer, go to layer styles and add a stroke. Set the stroke size to whoever looks right for your cutout's edge. I think 20 should be fine for me. Then pre-compose both layers and place the pre-comp below so you can check how it looks. You can add a bit of feathering to the mask to make the edges look smoother. Now to make it 3D. There's a lot of ways to do this, for example in After Effects 25 you can extrude shapes, but a simple method is just duplicating the layer a few times and lowering the brightness. Duplicate the layer, drag it below and slightly adjust the position so it looks like the side face of the cardboard. Add the brightness effect and bring the brightness down. Repeat this as many times as you want until it looks 3D. I only added two layers and that was enough. Then select all the layers and pre-compose them. Now we can make a red stick like in the poster. I just searched for a red plastic pipe and found a random image that we can use. Mask out the pipe. It doesn't need to be too accurate since you'll probably adjust it later anyway. To get the color right, add tint and set the black to red and white to black. Adjust the mask so the edges look natural. I 
I set the rotation to 180 so the shading is on the same side as the cardboard. Then scale and position the stick so it's centered and it looks like it's attached to the cardboard. Recompose the stick and the cardboard together. Once that's done, we can work on the transition. If you haven't already, center the clip to where you want it to be when the transition ends. Keyframe the position and rotation. Move the keyframes to the end of the transition, then move the cutout off screen to wherever you want it to come in from. Select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. If the transition feels too long, just pull the keyframes closer, then adjust the graphs to make the movement smoother. Now for the flash, there's two main ways to do this. Number one, you can use a white solid and animate the opacity from 100 to 0 with a fast to slow graph. Number two is to use the exposure effect, which I prefer since it looks more like an actual camera flash. Set the exposure high, then animate it back to zero using the same fast to slow graph. In the final edit, I also kept the cutout visible for a moment after the flash before fading it out, like an after image. And that's pretty much it, that's what the transition looks like. Hope you guys like this quick and simple tutorial, I'll be making a lot more now that I have a better setup, so if you have any ideas, drop them in the comments. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, I'll try to reply to all of them. And as always, see you in the next one.